LRT seven full stops, um, guaranteeing any cost overruns of two to three hundred million dollars. That's a minimal estimate. And then annual operating costs of the subway of thirty to forty million dollars. And the province just recently said, you know, we put we're basically writing off an additional $85 million of cost, sunk costs, as they call them, we've already put into this project. <clears throat> and just last month, or a month and a half ago, the province uh, talking about the contracts for the uh, yard at Shepherds and Conlos. It's going to be an $11 million cost to the city. So now every time, as this is, every day as this is moving forward, our city costs are moving up continuously. I always say the cash register keeps ringing, and the province had was fully committed financially to a project that I think was very viable, like running up the line here and continuing it, as opposed to, you know, once again, McCowan Avenue from Eglinton all the way to Shepherd being torn up completely for a subway system. More inconvenience for people. But my question is, will other councillors actually back this? If I think so, elected? you know, once we you see more and more details, yeah. we, you know, want to, we're, everybody, we're all elected to uh, represent the taxpayers. I'm a taxpayer myself. I think as people see, understand the financial implications of this, uh, we'll have more support for it. Okay.